we can create our time and motion in Excel or how we can track for a specific job how long it is taken to complete. So here you can see I have created a table. The first column is day and the second one is start time and the third one is end time and the final is total time taken. Start time is uh, your starting of the work. Just click on the drop down and select the time. Okay. And then you just whenever you end your task, select the drop down and select the time. You can see it is taken only 2 minutes 43 seconds. Okay, now you can again select it, you can see it's taken only 12 seconds. So uh, here by, by using this table you can track for a single day how long you are working. Okay, so how I can create or how you can create this kind of time and motion I will show you step by step for this you have to watch the video till the end first what I will do I will create a sheet then I will write down the column name start time then end time then current time again then I will them a border and I will change the color bold it write down the job name here I will write down the day's name tag it you can see See, it is automatically populated. Will settle. Now, what we will do? I will write a formula. Now, then for the drop down, I will use here data validation. Click on data validation and then take list. Click on the source and select the <coughs> cell which where you have write the now formula. You can see a drop down has been added for the first row. Then what I will do here you can see there is no drop down so I will not do the same activity I will just copy and I will paste okay now how you can calculate the time difference so end time minus start time okay just copy now you can select any date here you can see the time and date format is not same so first we will format it as per our requirement so for this you can click here then click on more numbers then click on custom drag little bit of and then select ddmm yyhhmm so you can if you want to so the second also you can write down SS. Select OK. And here you can see the time format is not correct. For this right click here. And format cell.
then select the end time you can see it is taken only 1 minute 20 second so this is the process uh, to create a time and motion by this time and motion you can do lots of work such as you can track your uh, working hours hope this video will help you and if you like this video if this video is helping you kindly press the like button and if you are new into my channel please subscribe it thanks for watching